People tend to think that for making a sculpture that I would do drawings first. I think of waxes as drawings. It's three-dimensional drawing, really, that I'm doing in wax. It's a very suitable material to think in because you don't have to keep it damp or anything like that. You can be pretty rough on it. You can twist it, change it. You don't actually even have to be very good. You just have to see when it's no good and then gradually you move it towards being something worthwhile. I got an email from Margaret Lynch in Cleveland asking if I would make a sculpture of him for Cleveland. I said I would probably come up with two ideas. And so I used really two different approaches. There was a, a list of aspirations for what the group in Cleveland would ideally like to see in the sculpture. And so I took that list quite seriously and developed one sculpture very much around the aspirations they had for that sculpture. On the other one, I took the poem, Fighting Heart, and started to think of what he was trying to do in the poem, that he was using um, boxing and the boxing ring as a kind of metaphor for life generally, for success and failure. I mean, in every, in every fight, there's going to be a winner and a loser. And I found that quite interesting to play with the idea of just what's going on within a boxing match and uh, use that like him as a metaphor for life. So I use these two different approaches. If you take a wax and embed it in a block of cement or plaster, which you then heat up, the wax will run out the bottom of that block of cement. So you get left with a cavity inside, which is where the wax was. So you've lost the wax. Once you've got that cavity, you can melt a pot of bronze and pour it into the space which was occupied by the, the wax, and then simply smash the mold. And then you've got down to a fingerprint you've got an exact reproduction of your wax.